Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I am going to talk about what are all the types of operating systems. So here is the agenda. So before going to talk about type of operating system, we should understand what is operating system and what are the different types of operating systems. And in short form, we call it as OS. And what are the types of operating systems and what are the types of Windows client operating system and where types of Windows Server operating system and what are the Windows Microsoft Windows Server OS releases. So today I'm mainly focusing on the Windows operating system. In the later sessions, I will focus on other flavor of operating systems like Red Hat Linux. OK, so let's start with our first point. What is operating system? So operating system means it is a software program that enables the computer hardware to communicate and operate with computer software. That means just for our easy understanding, if you notice this diagram, if you see either if you want to run the operating system, operating system is a, just a software program. We can run on either a computer hardware or you can run it on a virtual machine or you can run it on a container host. So any of the flavor, we can run the operating system. When we run the operating system, the prime benefit of operating system is it will allow you to run some applications on this operating system. For example, if I run a Windows Server operating system or Windows client operating system on top of that if you want to run any of the applications such as a pro business related applications like uh, if you want to run a either a sql database related application or java dot any application we can run on a windows operating system but uh, once we install the application on operating system layer either it in a hardware or virtual machine or container user can access the applications OK, so in other words, operating system is a interface between application and hardware layer or virtual hardware layer. OK, so that definition only I highlighted here. OK, now let's talk about the another point. What are the different types of operating systems? So in the current market, we have a plenty of flavors of operating systems. So the most commonly used operating systems are Windows operating system. It is Microsoft is the principal vendor and the Linux operating system, even within the Linux, we have a different flavors of operating systems and the Solaris operating system and the Macintosh operating system. And we also have a pre-configured virtual machines. That means it is in a OVA format or OVA format. Even our ESXi Elastic Sky X also a operating system only, not only limited to this highlighted operating system. In current market, we have plenty of additional flavors also. And if you want to run these voices, the commonly we can run on hardware or we can run on virtual machine level layer or we can run on a container host layer. OK, so to verify this all the flavor versions, let me log into our lab system. Let's say I'm connecting to one of our ESXi host. Let's say this ESXi host is running as a ESXi 03 host name and it is a 8.0 and it is running on a one of the hardware that is Intel and UC 11 box. So this server is running with the 64 GB memory and we have the CPU memory and storage and storage approximately 800 GB. Suppose if I want to create a virtual machine on this ESXi 8 of a operating system, we can go to the virtual machine and we can create a virtual machine. So while creation of new virtual machine, when I click on next, you can assign the virtual machine name. Let's say testing purpose. I am selecting VM1 and our compatibility is ESXi 8.0 virtual machine. And even you can see for a old flavor of ESX versions, but uh, I'm just choosing the latest version and the guest OS family. This point only we are discussing. OS means operating system family. If I expand this operating system family, there are multiple flavors. We have mainly Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Macintosh operating system and other. If any of the other flavors, if you're not found from the Mac and Linux and Windows, we can choose the other. Suppose just for our easy understanding, I am selecting as Windows operating system. When we select the OS family as Windows, the very easy option for guest OS version. If I select the drop down menu, you can see Microsoft Windows version starting from MS-DOS, Microsoft DOS operating system to 
all the client versions you can see from starting from 3.1 and all the client versions until the latest version windows 11 and windows 12 and even we it will support for a server operating system starting from the old version to until the latest version windows server 2022 and microsoft windows server 2025 is the latest version it may be released soon even the windows client os 20 uh, client os windows 12 also it may release soon that's the reason in the esx 8.0 vmware given this option this is in a windows flavor suppose if i select as linux version within the linux also there are plenty plenty of flavors for the linux operating system like amazon linux and asian ux cent os debian ux and we can also have a enterprise linux also enterprise linux means red hat will provide the support latest version is red hat enterprise linux 9 okay i will talk about red hat enterprise linux administration part in the later sessions okay and there are also other linux like uh, suze linux enterprise and ubuntu and vmware crx pod vmware photon OS. this all comes under the linux flavor and similarly, if I select a Mac OS, Macintosh operating system, these are all the Apple Mac OS versions, okay? Starting from the 10 until we have the latest version 14. Suppose we didn't see the Solaris option, that Solaris option we can choose under the guest OS family when you select other, under the other you will see the other flavors like novel network operating system, IBM OS, oracle solaris 10 and 11 versions even still if you have any different flavor of your customer os that scenario also you can choose other 32 bit or other 62 64 bit okay so we should have some at least minimally we should have two os knowledges i would prefer if based on your uh, based on your experience uh, in general most of the organization may use windows flavor and linux flavors and some may use solaris flavors if you have minimally two os knowledge like uh, windows administration and linux administration it will be more than enough to know about the virtualization concepts and also the private cloud hybrid cloud and public cloud concepts so os is the main foundational concept for all the cloud technologies okay so hope you understand the different flavors of versions so today i'm just focusing on windows version let's back to the slide so those points only i'm highlighted here windows os linux os solaris mac and pre-configured virtual missions esx os etc okay so let's go to the another point what are the types of operating systems so even within the operating system there are two types of operating system one is client operating system another one is server operating system the only difference is client operating system means this can be run on a desktop or a workstation and the server operating system means we can run it on a server i just took the example of hpe physical server and even in the servers also we have a three types of formats this formats includes the server can be a tower server rack mount server or it the server can be a blade server whatever the server it require a server operating system so nowadays most of the organizations already virtualized so they may use either windows server to run on directly on hardware and later they will configure the hyper-v virtualization and some organization may prefer to run the red hat and configure the kvm and some organization prefer to run the vmware esxi on the server and later they will create a virtual machine and run the windows and linux other operating systems on a guest os okay and the client operating systems we can also run it on our laptops and suburb OS, not only on a physical servers, we can run it on a virtual machine layer. Once we run the guest operating system on top, we can run the applications. Okay. And virtual machine means we already know it is a software generated machine, looks like a physical machine. Okay. And client OS, we can also run it on a thin clients. If you see the desktop icon, we have a separate CPU chassis is available in our desktops. But when it comes to the thin client, it's kind of a virtual desktop environment. Either it is a Citrix Xen desktop or VMware VDI or Horizon desktops. During the desktop clients also, we need a client operating system. If you compare with the Windows, we can choose the latest versions, Windows 10 or late, very latest one, Windows 11. And Windows 12 may release soon. 
okay and similarly server operating systems also not only on virtual machine layer we can run it on virtual appliance and we can run it on a, any of the container host okay or we can, uh, virtual appliance we can also call it as pre configured virtual machine in short form pvm and application the, if you want to run a container application we need a container host even container host also runs with any one of the server operating system okay so that is a main differences between client os and server os so now let's talk about what are the types of windows client os so i am not going into the deep i am just giving a quick overview what are the types of windows client operating system normally windows earlier they started with windows version 1 and version 2 version 3 for 3.5 windows nt 3.5 and later we have windows microsoft updated the keep on updating the latest versions they updated to 95 and later on windows 98 and windows 2000 these are all the windows client operating systems only and windows millennium edition and windows xp experience and windows vista and we also have windows version 7 and windows client os version 8 and later on they releases the latest version windows 10 and windows 11 i highlighted this dark blue windows 10 and 11 the reason is the present current market most of the organizations still they are using windows 10 and 11 the rest of the all the versions are outdated versions only okay but just for our easy and knowledge i am sharing that if they started from one they keep on upgrading the latest version and i given until the windows 11 maybe re, uh, windows 12 release it soon okay so this is about the client os versions now let's talk about what are the types of windows server os even server operating systems also it started from new technology 3.1 version and later on windows nt4 windows server edition 2000 windows server edition 2003 and after 2003 directly they released 2008 instead of 2004 5 and all they directly released the latest version 2008 and windows 2008 R2 that means release to edition on after that windows 2012 and we also have windows 2012 release to edition and later on windows 2016 and 2019 and we have very latest version 2022 and 2025 will release soon okay but in the still in the current market most of the organizations they are using windows server minimally 2016 2019 and 2022 some organization they are part of migrating from 2016 to 2019 or 2022 okay they will plan for os migration or they will plan to upgrade it to the latest version and currently to uh, windows server 2025 is a beta version only available uh, publicly they will release it soon okay and other versions all are the old version of operating system i personally have hands on experience from windows server 2000 onwards i worked on 2000 2003 and all these flavors okay i until the 2022 may 2025 we may work on in future okay and if you want to know about when these versions are released i will show you in the following slide see what are the microsoft windows server os releases See, in 1993 year, the Windows started with a server version, new technology 3.1, and within a year, 1994, they updated the version to 3.5 server, and again 1995, they updated the version 3.5.1. Every year, Microsoft they come up with a, either new patches or they will change the versions. And 1996, they changed the version from 3.5.1 to they updated to Windows new technology server. version 4 and windows in the year 2000 they come up with a they matching the year they come up with a windows server 2000 and 2003 also they matched the actual year windows server edition 2003 and 2005 instead of matching the same version they release a windows 2003 release 2 version and 2008 again they match the version with the year windows server 2008 and 2009 they come up with a release to and windows in the year 2022 windows server 2012 was released and 2013 2012 release to version was released and 2016 we have windows server 2016 and in 2018 windows server 2019 
and the present latest version last year only vm windows microsoft released windows server 2022 so still we are using the windows server 2022 in the next session i will show you how to create a virtual machine and install the windows server 2022 on esxi 8 version okay so that's it thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.